Okay, so you've been asked to find the voltages across each resistor and currents through each resistor in a circuit here that we'll call a combinatorial circuit. And the reason we call them a combinatorial circuit is because we have two resistors here that are in parallel and we have one resistor here that's in series with that parallel combination. In the circuit, we have three resistors. The resistors are resistor number one is a 1500 ohm resistor. Resistor number two is a 4700 ohm resistor. Resistor number three is a 1000 ohm resistor. We also have a five volt voltage source which will be powering uh, this circuit. So as I like to tell my students, uh, put the resistors onto the uh, paper on the table in the order in which they're supposed to be placed. So resistor number one, is here and that would be a 1500 ohm resistor resistor number two is here and that's resistor number two and then resistor number three would be over here and that's your 1000 ohm resistor all right we'll move the paper out for the uh out of the way put it up here at the top and we will start working on our breadboard placing those resistors in that order. So resistor number one, we'll go ahead and we're gonna place that onto our board in uh, this area here, okay? Resistor number two, we want to make sure that that is in the same row on top and the same row on the bottom. If they're going to be in parallel, they have to be. So we're going to put resistor number two here so that they're in parallel with each other and then resistor number three then needs to be in the same row at the top and then just pick a row at the bottom uh, oh come on now there we go and that's resistor number three all right so these two here are in parallel and that's because they're in the same row above and same row below resistor number three is in series with them so whatever comes out of these two adds up together and then goes through this resistor here because they're all in the same row up here or in this area here they're all in the same row all right so now i need to connect the resistors now to the supply voltage so in order to do that i'm going to take this wire and we'll put this wire here, we'll jumper wire into the same row up here with the two resistors. And I'm going to put the other end here into the positive terminal. Okay, or the, yeah, the positive terminal of the source, supply source here. All right, and then I'm going to take a uh, black wire and I'm going to, and it, the color doesn't have to be black by the way. I'm gonna put that wire in the same row as the bottom here and then put it into the, negative terminal of the supply voltage and so now my circuit is set up with the exception of the uh, voltage uh, source and the voltage source I'm going to connect up here at the top to a power supply that's off off screen here all right now turn that power supply on and so now this is my circuit that has been set up so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the voltage in order to check the voltage, we're going to use a multimeter and that multimeter, all right, uh, the, I'm going to turn my dial here over to 20 volts because that's uh, more than I expect uh, from the circuit, but definitely, uh, or pardon me, less than I expect from the circuit, but more than the two volts, which is the other uh, point there. And I'm going to use a DC voltage source for that. DC voltage source is it's a V with just a straight line. Okay. And I need to make sure that my uh, red wire here is going into the voltage terminal. The black one is going into the black or the common terminal. All right. So now that I have that taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and turn my uh, voltage supply on. There we go. All right. And to check the voltage now, I'm going to put the, the uh, probes, the voltage probes at the end of uh, the resistors across which I'm checking. And so I'm going to check this first resistor here. 
and according to this the voltage across those that resistor and let me get the wire out of the way here the voltage across those resistors or that resistor according to this is 2.64 2.64 volts right all right so now i'm going to check the voltage across the resistor in parallel to that so i'm going to touch a second resistor here and now since it's in parallel we expect to see the same voltage across that one and you see it's the same 2.64 now my full my full voltage uh coming out of the voltage source should be five volts so that's going to be five minus that 2.64 is going to tell me it should be my approximate voltage across this third resistor down here oops let me get my hand out of the way there maybe i have to do this a little bit differently all right 2.31 is the, the approximate voltage coming out of that 2.31 or is that 37? Hold on. 31, okay. 2.31. So th that voltage adds up to approximately 5 volts. It's not going to be exact, it's an approximation. All right, so I've successfully found the voltage across all three resistors. Now I need to find a current going through all three resistors. In order to do that, I'm going to need to break the circuitry. So the easiest one to start with is this third resistor down here at the bottom. So I'm going to start by breaking that circuitry and to do that I move the wire from uh, in the same row here with this resistor I put it into a different row and I'm going to put a uh, actually I can uh, just put a wire put a wire in the same row as that one I'm going to now take the voltage probe and I'm going to connect now to the resistor there and to the wire and you'll see that my current oops I forgot to change uh, my voltage uh, my multimeter to voltage uh, mode so let's go ahead and change that I'm going to change it to 200 milliamps so I spin, spun the dial down here to 200 milliamps and that's in DC and also I need to change the port that the red wire is going into, the red uh, probe is